Staying strong. I'm sneaking in. So my main cat, Jamario, always taking care of me when he in the loo or wherever. And her getting his hair done for the big concert tonight. I think it's called the Moonshine Jungle Tour with Bruno Mars. But here in St. Louis, we call it Get Low or Get Shot. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, what's up? Hey, I'm a big man. He from the loop. Uh, I forgot to know where your shop located at? 360 in South Florida. I mean, shop is called 360. It's off South Florida and Highway 7. Well, get your name and your Facebook stuff. Oh, uh, yeah. You can hit me up at Justin Rush on Facebook. And also, you can hit me up on uh, Instagram at Just Rush 77 or Barbara Rush 7. Tell them y'all saw them on J-Raw TV, because every time somebody say it, I get a free haircut. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So Jay, we, Jay gonna do a real interview for us, but I had to catch him tripping, y'all. You got me looking like this. Man, but <laughs> this, this is the real life, though. Fake folks get to see behind the scene, but when you up there smoking that bass. Well, now they gonna be laughing at me, <laughs> get my haircut. That's all right. <laughs> How they gonna laugh at you in the bins? <laughs> <laughs> Hey, Jay, now, uh, it's been a minute since you've been in the Louvre. I think last time we rolled, you was with Keisha Cole. That was on Monica. I was here with Monica. Who cares, man? I don't remember. That's 100,000 concerts ago. I don't mean it like that, uh, Monica, Keisha. Y'all know I love you. Yes, but, <laughs> hey, Jay, but you was here. Now, man, you done, over the last couple of years, dude, you done moved up to the top top level oh, wow. on concerting. That's very kind of you to say. How, how, how you feel? Oh man, super blessed man. It's an honor to do this and um, you know, if you, last time I was here I couldn't have, I wouldn't have uh give my words a chance. That's all right. Last time I was here I didn't think I would be here this fast, you know. It's amazing to me because it was shortly maybe a couple months after where I connected with Bruno and um, you know, we like you know, I heard E Panda saying earlier we started out in the pubs and yeah, well, I want you to say this story for later for the real interview. Okay. This, this is just the, the gag reel. Well, I'm just going to leave it here. All right. I couldn't believe, I didn't believe that I would be here at this point. Yeah, because I'm going to tell y'all something, boy. Uh, Jamero, y'all y'all probably knew him really from making the band when he was doing it with the Puff. And I'm going to tell you what, what really amazed me about J Jamero. I'm calling him Jay, man. I can't say that long name all that time. The, the reason I, I, I fell in love with Jay because this cat learned how to play key bass overnight. That's how dedicated he was to being where he at now, to getting her. Yeah, um, a lot of people don't believe that, but I really, I tell people all the time that ask me, you know, they really don't believe that. When I saw the keyboard, they thought I already knew how to play. They thought I was just playing for TV. I'm honestly telling you the truth. When I saw the board, I didn't know one key on that thing. I didn't know how to play it. I didn't know how to approach it. I didn't know how to find my own patches or anything. When they gave me that song list, which was the Janet Jackson Pleasure Principle and a couple other songs, I touched it. You know, one guy put tape on it for me, put the keys on it. But I, I used two fingers and I played that thing. You know, it was like, it was a super, it was definitely a godly, magical touch. When I touched it, I just hit all the notes. I'm not lying. And in um, three days, we had three days to learn everything. That third day, I played all the songs, I hit all the extra breaks, I hit everything right on it. I, I surprised myself. I couldn't hey, believe it. Man, but look where it's got you, though. Yeah, I'm serious. You know, you, you now you're playing for the big people, big crowds, making the big money. Oh, yeah. You know, praise God. Yeah, definitely. You know? God, for sure. But we're going to get out the way, man, because we got enough pictures to, for folks to laugh at him for a long time. Oh, man. So we're going to get the interview a little later. You know your boy E, he done bet me $50 that I'm going to like the tour. I mean, like the concert. Oh, man. I, I think I need to bet 52 Well, y'all bet all you want, because I got some cash right across the street in concert going to put it in the ground. Oh, man. Then Snarky Puppy here tomorrow. Well, Snark is a different story. Yeah, yeah, man. But I'm just teasing with you, y'all. Much respect to Jay, man, for always hooking up, man, always making the room for me, dog. We're going to get out of his way, y'all. So once again, we behind the scenes at the Moonshine Jungle to a brutal walls. No, stay here. You've already came in already. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right, y'all. We're going to give a little commentation. Just a blow by blow in a, a football vernacular. All right, y'all, we got 360 on the goal. <laughs> we got 360 on the goal. <laughs> it might be Mustang's car, all right? All right. He can be up there like a little uh, Oriental or something. That's a bad word. Asian. <laughs> no disrespect to my Oriental. I mean, my Asian friends. I'm, 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 you make me laugh. <laughs> <laughs> no disrespect, you know, but uh, man, it's all good. All right. He go in for the kick. Tiger Woods on the on the sixteen. <laughs> <Going down. laughs>
We're going to roll up out of here, y'all. J. Ross TV, 10 million strong. We gone. Peace.